suspicion. I am suspicion. And you are to suspect. You are to fear. You must have abandonment and trust issues. And I will play with your abandonment and trust issues. And you will never trust anybody. Every relationship you get into will be spoiled. Spoiled rotten. Because I will keep that fear and suspicion stirred up into a horrible hellish stench that will keep you uptight. It will keep you frustrated. It will keep you frozen and paralyzed from being able to make decisions because no matter what you do, it involves others and you cannot trust anybody. You cannot trust others. You cannot trust them. You cannot trust him. You cannot trust her. And you definitely cannot trust the Holy One. No, you must not trust him because he will do you wrong. I promise you, you better not trust the Holy One. Whatever you do, do not believe. Him. You know his name. I perish to say it. I refuse to utter that hideous name in my lips. Now, we must carry on because I must fulfill my plan in your life, which is to kill every dream, extinguish every ambition. I am to demolish every relationship because of your suspicion. Who is your suspicion? Yours truly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I do a marvelous job if I may say so myself. Anyway, <clears throat> back to business. Now, you are not to trust your mother. You are not to trust Papa. You are not to trust anybody. Don't trust pastors. Don't trust your boss. Don't trust your co-workers. Oh, they're out to get your job. And no matter who you get involved with, there'll always be some slithering somebody waiting in the bleachers to take them away from you. So the best way to protect yourself is not to get involved with anybody. I will keep you so suspicious that you will never, never entertain the thought of a relationship, no. Because once you get in one, I will stir up the jealousy juices. I will stir up the fear and will make you so suspicious. You will poison every single relationship that jumps off the diving board. And when it jumps off the diving board, it will go down into an empty pool and splat! Die! As far as your dreams and aspirations go, they're never to happen. I will keep you so full of suspicion, I won't even have to fight because you will line up with my ideas and you will never go to school. You will never finish anything. You will never be able to complete anything, which will make you a failure. And when you become a failure, you will suspect that everybody is looking down on you. Oh, they are. Oh. They're talking about you behind your back. I heard what they said about you. Oh, you don't want to know. 
But if I were you, I would not make any friends. You don't need friends. You have enemies. With enemies like that, who needs friends? Because every one of your friends will become an enemy. And you will be even more suspicious. So rather than go through all of that pain, let's not trust anybody, shall we? Let's keep it my way. Let's keep the status quo. We'll build a nice little prison for you with nice, thick little demonic bars. And I will have the key. And I will get you in. And you'll walk in voluntarily because you are too suspicious to let yourself go free. And I will hold the key and I will lock. Click. And you will be right where I want you. <laughs> Your dreams will be dashed. Your hopes will be ruined. Everything you've ever longed for in life will go up in smoke. And you will curse the day that you ever heard of the Holy One. But I will make it even better. You will get so bitter, so angry, so depressed, so frustrated, and I will be able to call all of my little cohorts to come and pile upon you in a very nasty way. And you will slowly deteriorate. You'll get an ulcer. You'll get high blood pressure. You'll get angrier and angrier and your fuse will get shorter and shorter. And you'll get to the point where you never want to go out. You never want to be with family. You never want to be with friends because you don't have any friends. Why? Because I have tucked you away in your own little comfort jail. Your little prison, so to speak, that I have the key to. Oh, oh. It's like poetic justice. I love our little plan, don't you?